uh hi guys um uh this is joe again and uh uh this time around I'm wearing the character lab t-shirt and then um i think i really admire these guys so much for um i didn't have the courage to talk to angela <laughs> It's so funny because I, coming up for the conference, I, I kept like, I'm reading her book and I'm like, it's like I could hear her, her voice in my head and um, and all that and how amazing, how I had wanted to meet up with her in the first place and everything. And then I, I saw uh, Donald Cummins, the executive director for Carter Lab, and I met with Sean, um, who is the director of um, research, and then I met with Chad, who's also the director of education, and then uh, 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 I saw Angela, and um, I think I didn't have the courage to go up to her and and say hi or talk to her because um, um, I feel a little bit like uh, my program is not started yet, and so she's this person that has like that, you know, she's gonna probably ask, oh, so what are you working on, and I'd be like, oh, I'm not starting, and that. I, I don't know. So I just thought, okay, uh, I'm not going to go to her this time around. I need to get some something started in Africa. I need to, the next time, maybe when I got, well, next year, when I come back for the conference and I, and I have an opportunity, if I can muster enough courage to meet up with her and say hi, then I will be able to say, oh, this is what we're doing in Africa and Ghana and blah, 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 and be able to give her some more, uh, something substantive than, uh, something like, oh, we're just getting started. And so, um, uh, but it was just amazing to listen to her. So I wanted to like sort of I'm going through the the Kurtha lab stuff or the uh, the workshops and the information that I got and 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 um, uh, in particular I wanted to talk about uh, one person that I listened to yesterday. His name Angela called him Bo and um, uh, Bo Jackson. But then and um, um, He's from Northwestern University. He's an associate professor there. And oh boy, I admire this man. And I, oh my God. And because of my, first of all, like my my unfulfilled dream of ever, of being an economist and the fact that he's taking economics in a different way that I, I have, I couldn't ever imagine was possible. And so I mastered uh, courage and I, I, I spoke with him, I approached him and I be like, uh, and so I told him about what I'm doing in Africa and I took his card and I'm going to write to him because what he's doing is amazing. And I'll tell you guys more about him later on um, uh, when after, when I, if I happen to connect with him again and then, and see how things go. But um, he is amazing. The kind of stuff he said about his research that he's doing now and what he's looking into is exactly what we what I want to do in Ghana with the first batch of our students and I think a little bit of direction from him as to even what to look at how to how to arrange the research and then how to um, test what we need to test will be amazing in helping us with with stuff so um I, I'm really excited that I was able to I think even just meeting him alone for this camp was worth it so uh, nice and then um. I met up with James, a teacher who also is, um, he has been to Ghana. <laughs> and so it was really nice to talk to him. Uh, he t went to Ghana with a group of students. And then um, I met up with another lady whose name I cannot remember right now, but she's also an educator and she has an interest in visiting Ghana in the future. So um, yeah, uh, it was really, really nice. I think I, br I built some great connections and contacts. And then whilst I was waiting for my Uber, Oh, okay, I think I have I have both of their cards here. So uh, the lady is called Hetty, Hetty Tate, and she is from Oakland Unified School District. And then the um, the man team, I think team. Uh, uh, let me see. Yeah, I think team is from Hilton Hershey School or Milton Hershey School. Yeah. So I have their cards. Also, great, 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 great guys. And so um um. And whilst I was waiting for Uber, my Uber, I ran into uh, Mamie. Mamie is the director of uh, the Relay Graduate School. And I spoke very briefly about going to do growth mindset in Ghana. And she gave me her email and said, okay, write to me and I'll send you the resources. And so I'm going to write to her also. And so um, in wrapping up with this video, I'm going to do another one after this is that uh, um, the camp was amazing. I, I, I keep saying it's amazing because it's hard for me to just sort of like say it all, everything that 
happened at the camp. So I'm going to do one more video on the camp and then I'll tell a little bit more about it. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Okay, so in this second video, uh, I want to talk about um, um, the organization of how this camp was and how... So it was well organized and then so as soon as I got there and we got our name tags and everything, I started learning and I'm, I'm thinking, okay, everything that you're doing here, there is something I can learn out of this that I can use for the up, my upcoming uh, camp in Ghana. And so it was the organization itself gave me a lot of our ideas. Um, we are making Open Mind Africa t-shirts for the students like they have. Uh, we, we've done the name tags already and then they give us like water caps and and duffel bags and all that we are also basically I, I'm, I wouldn't be able to give students a duffel bag but then uh, I can give them water caps and then I can give them the power banks and then I can give them uh, t-shirts and name tags and and other stuff so I think uh, we will there's a lot that I've learned from here that we can we can use also the way they organize the um, the um, the workshops I think it was really really good so we will I'll talk to Kathleen and Joe about it about so that we can also cannot run it the same way. Already we had planned to have groups of 10 uh, of the 30 students. I will lead one group, Kathleen will lead, a, lead another group and Joe will take another group so that we can have a small group discussion on all the topics. Um, when Mamie was leading her, her uh, when I was in her class for growth mindset, I loved the way she does things, the way she gets everybody talking to each other and then practicing on the spot. And I think that is something that we can also use in Ghana. So. Um, uh, 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 it was great. It was amazing. Um, uh, the way um, the camp was organized and all the people uh, who came to speak. John Kane. He John Kane is a former uh, Secretary of Education uh, under Barack Obama, and then um, lots of other people. One guy whom I, I don't think I'll ever forget is um, is uh, uh, the guy from New York Times. I think. Uh, his name he was the first speaker of the day and boy was he good amazing amazing i think um uh, i, I want to say his name on video because uh, you see i have always had the ability that there is this um there is a correlation between like sort of like uh faith and sel and stuff and he talks something about that about he talked about his soul and so i was really really impressed with that and so I think, um, oh, I don't know, I cannot find his name, he's you know, on the English streets, but I know he's somewhere. Uh, and I'm going to buy his book. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look for his book online, and I, have, I know the book he wrote. I'm going to go buy the book, and, and it'll be great. So, anyway, I cannot find it. But um, that's one of the many things that I learned. Now, finally, I want to talk about <clears throat> Angela. Mm -hmm. And so I already said I wasn't. I didn't have the courage to, um, to to say hi to her or to say thank you for the great work she's doing. But um, just listening to her yesterday talk briefly about what she's working on, strengths of will, strengths of mind, and and all that. And then it's and 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 her focus. How she's doing all these things that she's doing. It's just amazing. And her desire to to measure success beyond just our our, our simple uh, uh, IQ test that we do with exams and all these things, and and that is something that I believe in strongly. And so I think I, I was just like oh, watching her do the final part of the program and talk about it, and then it was like it's a higher purpose, it's a higher calling, you know. And I, I totally admire everything she and her team uh, are doing. So, um, my God, I we have been asked to give a feedback on um, uh, through the app as to how what we think about the camp. And I don't even know what to say. Everything was amazing. <laughs> yes, I think maybe I should go back on there and say like amazing, 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 amazing. Um, uh, but the other part of the camp that um, was how far we are behind in Africa sad the discussions that are going on here are at a level that i i think sel discussions has not even began in africa yet i mean we are we are not talking about it, it is i was sitting there at one point I'm, I'm thinking oh my god really i am the only i am i the only african who came for this camp on sel and character development 
And so it's like, it tells me how important what we're going to do in Ghana is and for all of Africa. And I'm hoping that other people will jump in. You know, I'm, ho I'm really hoping that, uh, because this is how we're going to change the continent. This is how we're going to change Africa by looking at SEL and incorporating all of this into our education system because people have been doing the same things for years in Africa where we go through our normal school and then people come out of school and they're looking for jobs because they do not have any other skill that will help them create jobs or, 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 or be better on their own than to depend on the government. But then what SEL does is teach you the other skills that you need to succeed in life besides your academic knowledge that you have. And that's what we're going to try and do in Africa. And, and, and I hope that um, uh, Open Mind Africa will shine the light on it. And then we will be able to like uh, uh, influence policy and influence educators and then influence uh, uh, schools to look at this in a, in a, in a, in a very, uh, in a way that they've never done before. So um, uh, yeah, I want to, I don't, I don't think they're going to watch my videos, but uh, maybe in the future, they will know that I was grateful that he accepted me to come, the people of Character Lab, uh, and then everybody involved in, in doing this, in putting together the, the 2017 Educators Camp. Thank you, guys. You're changing the world. You just don't know it yet. But maybe maybe you do. But thank you for inviting Open Mind Africa and for, and for uh, accepting me to attend. I will be there next year. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. So in this second video, uh, I want to talk about um, um, the organization of how this camp was and how. So it was well organized. And then so as soon as I got there and we got our name tags and everything, I started learning and I'm, I'm thinking, okay, everything that you're doing here, there is something I can learn out of this that I can use for the up, my upcoming uh, camp in Ghana. And so it was... The organization itself gave me a lot of our ideas. Um, we are making Open Mind Africa t-shirts for the students like they have. Uh, we, we've done the name tags already. And then they give us like water caps and, and duffel bags and all that. We are also basically, I, I'm, I wouldn't be able to give students a duffel bag, but then uh, I can give them water caps and then I can give them the power banks and then I can give them uh, t-shirts and name tags and, and other stuff. So I think uh, we will, there's a lot that I've learned from here that we can, we can use also the way they organize the um, the um, the workshops. I think it was really really good. So we will I'll talk to Kathleen and Joe about it about so that we can also kind of run it the same way. Already we had planned to have groups of ten uh, of the thirty students. I will lead one group. Kathleen will lead, a, lead another group, and Joe will take another group so that we can have a small group discussion on all the topics. Um, when Mamie was leading her, her uh, when I was in her class for growth mindset. I loved the way she does things, the way she gets everybody talking to each other and then practicing on the spot. And I think that is something that we can also use in Ghana. So um, uh, 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 it was great. It was amazing um, uh, the way um, the camp was organized and all the people uh, who came to speak. John Kane, he, John Kane is a former uh, Secretary of Education uh, under Barack Obama and then um, lots of other people. One guy whom I, I don't think I'll ever forget is um, is uh, the guy from New York Times. I think uh, his name, he was the first speaker of the day and boy, was he good. Amazing, amazing. I think, um, oh, I, don't know. I want to say his name on video because you see, I have always had the belief that there is this, um, there is a correlation between like sort of like uh, faith and SEL and stuff and he talked something about that about, he talked about his soul and so I was really really impressed with that and so I think um, oh I don't know I cannot find his name he's here on the English sheets but I know he's somewhere uh, and I'm gonna buy his book I'm gonna I'm gonna look for his book online and I, have, I know the book he wrote I'm gonna go buy the book and and it'll be great so anyway I cannot find it but um, that's one of the many things that I learned. Like. Finally, I want to talk about <clears throat> Angela. <laughs> and so I already said I wasn't. I didn't have the courage to, um, to to say hi to her or to say thank you for the great work she's doing. But um, just listening to her yesterday talk briefly about what she's working on, strength of will, strength of mind, 
and and all that and then it's and 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 a focus how she's doing all these things that she's doing it's just amazing and her desire to to measure success beyond just our 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 simple uh, uh iq test that we do with exams and all these things and and that is something that i believe in strongly and so i think i, I was just like i'm all watching her do the final part of the program and talk about it and then it was like it's a higher purpose it's a higher calling you know and i i totally admire everything she and her team uh, are doing so um my god i we have been asked to give a feedback on um uh, through the app as to how what we think about the campaign i don't even know what to say everything was amazing <laughs> yes i think maybe i should go back on there and say like amazing 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 um uh but the other part of the camp that um was how far we are behind in africa sad the discussions that are going on here are at a level that i i think sel discussions has not even began in africa yet i mean we are we are not talking about it, it is i was sitting there at one point i'm thinking oh my god really i am the only i am i the only african who came for this camp on sel and character development and so it's like it tells me how important what we're going to do in ghana is and for all of africa and i'm hoping that other people will jump in you know i'm, ho I'm really hoping that uh, because this is how we're going to change the continent this is how we're going to change africa by looking at sel and incorporating all of this into our education system because people have been doing the same things for years in africa where we go through our normal school and then people come out of school and they're looking for jobs because they do not have any other skill that will help them create jobs or or or, or be better on their own than to depend on the government but then what sel does is teach you the other skills that you need to succeed in life besides your academic knowledge that you have and that's what we're going to try and do in africa and 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 i hope that um uh open mind africa will shine the light on it and then we will be able to like uh uh influence policy and influence educators and then influence uh uh schools to look at this in a, in a in a in a very uh in a way that they've never done before so um uh yeah i want to i don't i don't think they're gonna watch my videos but uh maybe in the future they will know that i was grateful that he accepted me to come the people of Carata lab uh and then everybody involved in in doing this and putting together the the 2017 educators camp thank you guys you're changing the world you just don't know it yet but you maybe maybe you do but thank you for inviting up in africa and for and for uh accepting me to attend i will be there next year take care bye bye